Joe Budden yeah. just put out a freestyle. He did. It's 10 minutes long. 10 minutes. It's called Who Killed Hip Hop. Yeah. Okay? Now, he puts everyone on blast. He makes some incredible points. This is what we're going to do. We're going to drop this record right now. Yeah. If you're out there, you're a hip-hop fan, and there's people around you and they're making noise, tell them to shut up right now. Yeah, and really just listen to what he says in his record. And then you call us up, let us know who or what you think is aiding to the death of hip-hop. Who killed hip hop? Yeah. There it is. Joe Budden, who killed hip hop? He just said mix shows are programmed. <laughs> Yo. Wow. When have you heard a rapper say something like that? He put everything, he put radio on blast, he put the fans on blast, he put artists on blast, Wow. he put iPods on blast. He put, he put iPod DJs on blast. Wow. He put Serato's on blast. He said, he said Lil John taught us how to, what would he say, get rich without rapping? And see, he talked about Corinne Stephens. I told you. Uh-huh. I told you. Uh-huh. She got on uh-huh. for doing what she does. The funny voice. Wow. The T-Pain funny voice, the whole game on that. <laughs> he put that on blast. Terrible. 50. 50 getting the fans to start looking at the numbers. That's true. Fifth, fifth was the one that started throwing numbers out there some years ago. And now everyone pays attention to the numbers. Yeah. You hear people walking around now in the streets talking about Wayne sold a million. No one ever paid attention to numbers 10 years ago. Yo, cats call me. They know when the sound scan comes out. Yo, big man, um... Yo, what did they sell this week? Yeah. I'm like, y'all dudes act like y'all got record labels out here. Right. Oh, my goodness. He got man. the Keith Murray situation. Keith Murray Keith punching Murray out a record out. executive. Yeah, I remember that. Wow. Eric Sermon jumping out of a window. I remember that. Master P's ugly ass album covers. Very true. Do you agree with Joe Budden's points? Yeah. Do you disagree with his points? I mean, I love the part when he said we spent... $100,000 on things that ain't even in no more. Uh-huh. He said dudes will take their rent and make it rain. <laughs> yeah, go to the club, take that $900 and throw it in the air, you dummy. 674-9307 or 1-800-488-9307. On air, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? I think, I think we as consumers killed it. Because we buying into all that garbage. We the ones spending all our money on all that garbage, calling requesting garbage. So we the ones that's not letting conscious music come and, and be popular like it was when it first came out. I totally agree. All right. Like, I don't get nobody requesting most death up here. No, see, I don't get nobody requesting Talib Kweli up here. Or they want to hear lollipop and, and lick a <laughs> and all this garbage. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right, girl. On here, idiots. Who or what killed hip hop? Yo, real talk. You know what killed hip hop? What up? Stupid publicity stunt. Beef with this person, beef with that person. I did this, I did that. It all comes out before the album comes out and it's old as WWF. Yo, I'm going to tell you, Joe Buttons, he spoke what's real. And I'm going to tell you that. Right now, that stop hip hop was 56. That's what I'm giving to you. I'm wrong from Springfield. And why do you think 50? Because 50 took out he took out uh, Ja Rule, and what Ja Rule was doing, he was putting out an image. He was putting out an image for the hip hop industry, for for the females, and for everybody, for your moms and everybody. And 50 took that, trying to put him out of the business, and and and. He, and what he did, he took over that, and he doing the same thing as Jaws doing. So, on here, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? Yo, man, I got to sum this up. I got to agree with Joe Buttons, you know what I mean? It's a combination of everybody. But what I really want to say is we killed hip-hop, dog. And the reason I say this is because when it first started off, it was a unity thing. Black people had complete control over the whole situation. But then little by little, the white people seen that it wasn't going to fall and seen how the progress of it was going to make a lot of money. And they started buying into it, buying into it piece by piece. And our own people, what was it, Russell Simmons or who it was, let the empire go what he built for a dollar figure. On here, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? 
I was surprised when he went after BET. I was shocked, but he told it like it was. Yeah, he said, what did he say? He said, he said the people don't pick the videos on 106. Yes, 106, <laughs> they don't pick the videos. I loved it. It was amazing. It was real as it got. All right, no doubt. Appreciate the phone call. On air, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? Yes, sir. I'm, it's about time somebody told the truth, man. Said, man, first of all, I'm 33, so I know the truth. Right. He, he, he hit it on the head, man. Right. He hit it right on the head. You know what? More kids need to start telling the truth, too. When that come out, every track that come out is hot. That's not the truth. Exactly, exactly. Speak not, on it. That's why I like y'all. I like Big Nick, because sometimes he'll let it out. But he will let it out all the way. I know you got to keep his job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, right? Yeah. Thank you, brother, for knowing I got to keep it politically <laughs> correct in here. <laughs> all right, dude. Thanks for the check-in. <laughs> On here, idiots. Who or what killed hip-hop? I think the whole gangster mentality killed hip-hop. It killed. It's killing the environment that we live in today. I'm saying, like, everybody thinks they could be a gangster because they wear a fitted and a, a T-shirt that's three sizes too big. Right. I'm so sick of it. On here, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? I totally agree with a lot of the things that Joe Budden said. If we would be more socially conscious and follow some of the lead as far as how hip-hop takes a stand for the people that enjoy hip-hop music, then I think it would improve not only just the music as a genre, but the viewpoint of the people that listen to it. On here, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? Yo, definitely not Joe Budden. Let me tell you, he was right about Busta Rhymes. No one considers him the best ever. Like, you know, I'm talking about the GOAT. Yeah, yeah, that was a great line. He said Busta got a million albums, but he's still not mentioned with the GOAT. Oh, definitely, definitely. And whoever talked about 50 Cent killing hip hop, they're wrong. He just killed Ja Rule. <laughs> All right, man, good point. On here, idiots, who or what killed hip hop? Brother, man, I'm going to be honest with you. It was corporate America and the fans. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that hip-hop was not a fact. They started cashing in and, and, and manipulating behind the scenes. The fans fell victim and killed hip-hop because they fell victim to what corporate America was dictating on what's hot and what's not and all the, the garbage beefs going on. On here, idiots, who or what killed hip-hop? Yo, shout out to that dude that said corporate America, yo. All right. Yo, but I'm saying, like, all these people that are selling records just to make money for the sole purpose, only put, putting out records, them the people that kill hip-hop, yo. Right, right. Did you hear the Joe Budden freestyle? Nah, man, I got the car right after he, he put it on, man. I've been calling, trying to call you up for like an hour, though, man. That's mad busy right now. Don't worry, we're going to play it again in a little while, man. You got to listen to it all the way through, brother. It's crazy. Yeah, all right. I'm a, yeah, I'm going to get on that, man. On here, idiots who or what killed hip-hop? Yo, my brother, not only did corporate America kill hip-hop, it was the fans. Because how can a man like Joe Button be underrated, not respected? How does Jeff Jam drop a man like Joe, Joe Button? Do you want to hear it again? Yes, sir, I do. Make it happen. We're going to play it again. Keep it locked. On here, idiots who or what killed hip-hop? I just wanted to um, call up about the Joe Button song just now. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's... Crazy. I'm Joe Budden's number one fan, and that just blew me away. It was amazing. On your idiots, 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 idiots.